Hey there, in this video I'm going to be just Miss Queen Bitch. I'm going to just be uh, bitching about some things. Traffic, pretty much. Out here, I mean, ever since I passed the, the Eastern Time Zone, like when I was on my way over from Washington, yeah, as soon as I got to Eastern Time Zone, it's, it's almost like just suddenly everyone just magically changes and everyone wants to tailgate. And if you let them by, if you pull over to the side and uh, uh, to the to the shoulder, and let them by, they'll they'll not only look at you as if you're crazy, but then once they've passed you, they'll go the same speed that you were going. <laughs> then you have the ones that just want to go fast, and it doesn't matter. You could be going 15, 20 miles an hour over the speed limit, and they still want to go faster. Um, including when you're on a two-lane highway, meaning there's one lane going in each direction, uh, at night with some fog, and they still want to go, they still want to be some sort of speed demon. Sometimes I've been in, uh, in places where you know, like I could describe, it's at night, it's, it's, there's some fog going on, and I'll have five or six cars behind me, they're all tailing each other, you know, and I'm just like, I'm, I'm not going faster than 15 miles an hour over the speed limit in, under these conditions, I'm sorry, no, you know, and sometimes there, there isn't a shoulder to be able to pull over in, you know, for, for miles and miles, so, <laughs> Frustrating. I, I've a couple times I, I was brought to tears actually from that. I'm just like, you know, I can't go faster than, than, than this than I'm already going over the speed limit and be safe. I'm sorry, I'm not going to drive unsafe just because some assholes behind me wanna be speed demons. <laughs> but uh here in Shimokan though there's all these roads, like including the one that I'm on, on East Chestnut Street, including this one, narrow roads, they should be a two, they should not be a two-way road, they should be a one-way road. Cars parked on both sides, you can barely fit one car between. There are some roads out here I fold my mirror in, just so, just in case, so I can get through without my mirror hitting someone else's mirror, right? Weird stuff. And you've got these, these, you can't. It, it, it's a road that seems like it's a main road, but suddenly it becomes. It looks like you're driving down an alley now, and then later it looks like a main road again. And you have, you have intersections where it's it's you're on a main road, but on that main road you need to stop while the it's a two way stop where this little bitty road gets to go through. Um, okay, why wasn't that a four-way? I don't know. Why wasn't it a two-way where the main road gets to go through and the little road has to stop? Don't know. And there are some, uh, there are some intersections like uh, Market Street and Independent Street where, you know, at that intersection, uh, it's, a, it's a timed light and it's timed in a way where, I mean, because there's, there's no sensors, right? For, for the sense that the car is there, so it'll change sooner or any of that. So any time of day, it's, it's set for the same thing. No right turn on red. And they let the, the cars this way go through, this way go through, and then the uh, crosswalks get to go. And they'll go for a long ass time as if it's some busy hustling city, right? <laughs> it's like no, it's 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 hustling, bustling, whatever. Fast city and it's not Market Street after uh, when you're heading south, let's say you're on uh, Sunbury Street and you turn and head towards you turn onto uh, Market Street and head south uh, there's no indicator that the road is going to suddenly become divided. There's no signs, there's, there's no lines of any kind that show it. 
So there's this point you have this just this huge wide road and you're like, where am I supposed to be on the road here? Then when you're going the opposite direction and where it was a divided road, you pass Independence Street and now it's a two-way road with no markings showing it's a two-way road and the light at Sunbury Street stretches way off to the left so it looks like it's a, it's still a one-way road. I found myself uh, one time, and I think it happens to just about everyone who comes to this town at some point or in time or another, I was in the wrong lane. <laughs> I'm heading the wrong direction in the lane. Uh, pretty weird. Um, <laughs> so, now, I mean, when I complain about the tailgaters, I mean... Every every part of the country has some weird driving habits that, that go on. Like on the West Coast, especially in places like Portland. Um, a lot of people go under the speed limit. And sometimes the speed limit's already slower than it should be. Like like the freeways on I-5 on, in Portland. There's a lot of huge percentage of it that's 50 miles an hour. And what do, people, what do a lot of people go there? They'll go 40 or 45. I can't really figure out a reason for it. And then, of course, there's the, there's, there's the exception to that, where their people are the most extreme speed demons possible, but the rest of everyone else is a, it wants to go slower. I'll never forget, uh, 20 years ago, um, I gave someone a ride, and the whole time they're like, oh, you need to slow down. I'm like, I'm going the speed limit. What's the, you need to slow down. All I could think to myself is, yeah, guy, there's a reason why you don't drive. <laughs> But then there's other parts of Portland, the twisty road sections, you know, where I, I like to, to consider it just because if you look at the map, it just looks like a, a, a random pile of spaghetti. Yeah, th those sections, everyone wants to speed through those. Do you want to speed through the sections that are dangerous to speed on? I guess you, you get your jollies of, of going on these sharp curves or whatever, but you want to go slow on the straightaways. Can't figure that out. That's a weird... That's pretty weird. But... Anyway. Out here... Tailgaters. Tailgaters. You pull over, let them by, and they'll often go the same speed you were. <laughs> there, there was a point... There have been a few points where I've pulled over to the shoulder and let... You know, just wanted 15 cars to pass so there's not going to be much of a chance of someone tailgating me and then I'll be going the same speed as the rest of the cars that that you know I, I let pass but I leave a reasonable amount of room in front of me and someone will make a turn and then they'll start tailgating me well you need to tailgate them or you're going too slow uh, no that's that's not how it works but I guess that's how people seem to see it working out here I don't know but anyway, I think I've bitched enough, so enough of Queen Bitchy Kazoom, and uh, uh, you, you now uh, back to your regular scheduled program, right?